There are different methods to create MEP elements in the design project. One method is to build up the complete MEP system of the project by placing individual MEP elements one by one. Let's place some duct segments with rectangular cross sections and investigate the results on the floor plan and in the 3D window as well. Let's activate the duct tool and open its settings dialog to briefly review some of the MEP custom setting parameters. The general settings page lets you define the length and insulation parameters of the duct. Here you can also decide on which MEP system the duct should belong to. The visualization page lets you adjust pens, colors, fill types and materials in the floor plan and also in the 3D view. The connection page lets you define connection parameters. Here you can choose the desired connection types and also define its geometry such as connection width, height and wall thickness. Let's place the duct in the floor plan view. Let's select it and notice the different hotspots that appear. Placing an individual MEP element is similar to placing an ARCHICAD object. MEP objects are enhanced with smart connection hotspots to help your work. Let's place a couple more ducts and notice that connection hotspots, red hotspots, are available only at the endpoints of the duct system. By clicking these connection hotspots, you can easily add additional MEP elements to the system in a smart manner. The ductwork creation can be continued in the 3D view as well. The smart connection hotspots are also available here to help your modeling work. Let's continue by adding a bend to the ductwork in the floor plan view. The eye cursor helps you define the direction of the bend. All changes are displayed in the 3D window as well. Let's add another bend in the 3D window. As you can see, the eye cursor is also available here to define the orientation of the new element. Navigate freely in the 3D view and find the most appropriate view to add new elements or to change existing ones if you wish. Now we would like to continue the rectangular ductwork with circular elements. To do this, we need to insert a duct transition element and configure its connection parameters accordingly. One end of the duct transition is defined to connect to rectangular duct elements. Now we will modify the connection parameters of the other end to connect to circular duct elements. The changes are immediately visible both on the floor plan and also in the 3D view. The duct work can be extended with circular elements. Let's add a duct Y element to the ductwork. The smart eye-shaped cursor is always at hand to speed up and ease the modeling work. Now we would like to extend the system with some flexible ducts, connecting to existing circular ductwork. To achieve this, first we will add a takeoff element to the circular ducts on the floor plan view. Let's open its settings dialog and increase its connection width. Now we can easily connect flexible ducts to the system. Flexible ducts are enhanced with hotspots. Using various functions of the pet palette and the editable hotspots, you can freely edit the geometry of the flexible ducts on the floor plan or in the 3D window. When the MEP modeler for ARCHICAD is installed on your computer, some of the existing ARCHICAD library parts will be extended with MEP specific parameters to help your modeling work. For instance, let's have a look at the basin object. The object settings dialog is extended with the MEP custom settings panel. For example, we can define different parameters for the hot water, cold water, and wastewater connections. Let's see how this works in practice and place a basin on the floor plan view. Notice that the water connections are clearly visible on the floor plan and also in the 3D view. Let's activate the pipe tool and click the hot and cold water connections on the floor plan. 
Notice that the diameter and the color of the pipes are automatically adjusted to fulfill the previously defined basin connection settings. Let's continue and add wastewater pipe to the basin in the 3D window. Notice that the size and also the color of the pipe have been automatically adjusted. We can continue the work by adding bends and additional pipes and other elements to the pipework.